Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. This is Angelic Ray coming to you at Angelic Soul 11. So I just wanted to do a quick, short and simple video in regards to intuition and how can you discern between your intuition and your thoughts? So that is a question I get a lot. Um, and it's really simple. So first and foremost, I want to say that your intuition is your spirit in tune with source, your spirit in tune with the universe. It is a direct line between your spirit and source, the all and nothing. So because it is in tune with the universe and your reality here it's in tune with you okay i like to say in tune it is right in intuition in tune it is so it'll be more direct it'll give you an answer without any explanation a lot of the times it doesn't even make sense okay for some people, you know, when you get those gut feelings and you just don't know why you just have this gut feeling or you just, you know, you had a hunch about something. Okay. That's your intuition speaking to you. Okay. Thoughts normally come attached with emotions or explanation. Because the thoughts usually follow after the intuition. The intuition usually comes first. Okay. And it is so in tune with the universe that it is not attached to your emotions. It doesn't care why or how something is going to work. It doesn't get anxiety about it or excited or sad. It doesn't do anything any of that okay i'm just parking to get gas really quick so your intuition is straight from source so it's it's not attached to explanation or emotion your thoughts are attached to your mind and therefore to your brain to your gut to all the different um, energies inside your body. So it will attach to emotion. It could attach to fear. It could attach to love, to joy, to, um, you know, anxiety, as stated earlier. It will want to know how or why something works. So it always usually comes with some chatter after the answer. Okay, this is why like they say trust your intuition or, um, you know, the best advice I had one time um, in a job that I was working when I was younger was never second guess my first answer. And this was because we had a training and I, I knew I knew all the answers. However, there was one question that I ended up second guessing myself. So my manager came up to me and she's like, you should have got a 100 on this test. You know all this information. Why did you get this one wrong? And I was like, I don't know. I just, I guess I did. I, I couldn't recall the correct answer. She's like, I'm going to read it to you again and I want you to give me your first answer. So she reads it to me again and I give her my answer and she starts laughing. She says, see, you do know it. Um, why didn't you mark that down? I said, well, I felt in my gut like that was the right answer. But I don't know, something just kept telling me it wasn't correct. It wasn't right. So, you know, I went with my second choice. And that was when pretty much I, ha I had to realize, like, you know, she told me usually your first answer is usually the right answer. That's your intuition. And it's going to come without explanation. That stood with me for the rest of my life. Um, and it just made me laugh because I started paying attention. 
And so that's how you can actually practice on your intuition is by censoring yourself, getting to know um, the difference of your intuition and your thoughts. Where do you feel it? Some people feel it in their heart. Some people feel it in their solar plexus, in their gut. You know, some people do get their intuition in their minds. Um, I personally get it in my heart space or in my solar plexus um, just because it's more of a direct line for me. That way, um, it's not a lot of chatter. And I'm also um, a feeler. Like, so I would explain things like, oh, I feel, I feel versus like, I think. So... But the intuition, keep in mind, doesn't have feelings. The intuition doesn't care about your feelings, okay? I love the intuition because it has the knowing of all and of your reality. So that is why it's able to give you solutions to problems. This is why it's able to be the disconnected from emotion and just give you a direct answer because it just is what it is okay it is your soul with source knowing your soul's path your soul's journey therefore it's not gonna care about your feelings it's only gonna give you what is true and exact okay now are there instances where a person's intuition can be wrong? Yes. And why is that? A lot of the times it has to do with a person not really listening to their intuition. Okay. A person that hasn't really sat down and meditated with themselves, um, doesn't know how to discern between the voice of their thoughts and the voice of their intuition okay um and so that's why sometimes the intuition can be wrong but nine out of ten times your intuition is right okay what else okay so your intuition at times can give you a yes or a no or a number or a color um, and this can be for you to tap into your creativity um, and actually creative projects are usually um, what in tune you with your intuition as well so it's a great practice to like you know create some music or create some poetry or create you know any types of arts and craft okay um, it can be painting, it can be, you know, anything pretty much as long as you're using your creativity as your creativity is usually what makes you in tune, um, with your spirit as well. Okay. It's just, you're free flowing, you're being creative, boom, you know, you're, you're a little bit more direct with your intuition meditation sitting in solitude um learning your body and the different voices inside of you that's gonna help you know your intuition let me see any other practices as of right now that's what i have in the top of my head it is still fairly early and i do want to keep this video short okay um if you have any questions comments concerns leave that down in the comments below if there's a specific topic you would like me to talk about and break it down for you you can leave that down in the comments below i always love hearing back from you um and see what it is that you would like me to talk about or if you just had any questions or if this video resonated with you please leave a thumbs up share the video if you feel like this information is going to be useful or helpful to anyone else and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already until next time peace y'all hey y'all so i just wanted to add really quick on to what i was saying um 
I said the intuition will give you like a yes or a no or a color, etc. Um, it is not just limited to those things. So please keep that in mind. Your intuition can give you any type of source of information. Okay. Any type of ideas. Um, and I also wanted to add like observation um, as a technique for practicing because that's you observing whether it's externally observe, observing the situation or internally observing the situation observation does strengthen the intuition as well so that was just something else i wanted to add on before i end this video and peace y'all